The aim of the Art of Choice project has been to provide a temporary context for the interests and ideas of young people to inform the acquisition process for the Dunleary Rathdown County Council Art Collection. Every Saturday over six weeks, I've been facilitating the group to view and consider the work of several artists as part of the group's task to select this work for the collection. As part of the project, the group were given talks by independent curator Ashling Pryor and assistant curator from the Irish Museum of Modern Art, Claire Walsh. The curators shared their experience of working in the fields, considered the purpose of public art collections and offered practical advice to the group on developing their interest in contemporary art. If you're interested in becoming a curator or selecting artists to work on exhibitions with you or on commissions with you, you have to be articulate. You have to be brave and you have to speak up, say why you have chosen a particular artist or why you have chosen a particular theme for an exhibition. To collect an object is significant because inside the object is the cultural memory of a community of a particular moment or a set of conditions. You can get access to this cultural memory through the object which opens up a whole perspective on the world and um, that's what it means to collect work, works of art and that's what's fascinating about art. Using a combination of studio visits, trips to solo and group exhibitions and specially arranged visits to galleries, we looked at the work of Neil Carroll at Sushi Kaga, Dragon of Jurassic, Samuel Lawrence Canaan, Hannah Fitz, Christopher Mahan, Marcel Vidal, Laura Fitzgerald, Bassam Al Saba, Joanne Reed, Brian Fay, Mary Fitzgerald, Mark Joyce, Emma Roach, and Neve McCann. Hi, my name is Dragan Ayushic. I primarily work with photography and text. Uh, sometimes I make video work as well. Installations of exhibitions are really important to never how they talk to each other. So I pull up, pulled out some works for you today uh, that are from my latest a work called My Own Unknown. The work is about Yugoslavia. It's a country that fell apart in 1991 and I made a body of work in which I tried to reconstruct the country through photography like by following a journey of Anglo-Irish writer Rebecca West. So that has been a work that is kind of image and text. So there is my writing, her writing and my images. If this work is sold, this is just a display only way of presentation of the work. It would be framed behind the museum glass. I think it's really interesting to actually find the artist's perspective on their own works because uh, that can be missing in exhibition space and like even when a curator is explaining a message, it's not, it wasn't them who actually did it. So it's interesting to see the artist's thoughts and perspectives on their own work and how they how they conceived of the idea and how they actually executed it in the, in the end. You get a personal, first-hand um, kind of point of view instead of also reflecting your own kind of ideas. It was really important to me that I was figuring things out by making it and that the, that the craft of the work, the technical making of the work wasn't available when you're looking at it, you're seeing this is made by a kind of imperfect human who's trying to make something stand up. The size of them is obviously quite small and that's again linked to this kind of process of making them. But they have kind of an intimacy in that and they work quite well in a row like this. They kind of almost tell a story, like the little kind of snapshots. Um, and they, they do kind of have a glow to them that you don't get with digital photography, I think. It picks out kind of small details, uh, plants, um, shops, people, they tend to be quite kind of melancholic. Um, so the moments are snapshots of kind of details and analysis. The Dunleary Rathdown County Council County Arts Collection is a significant collection of 20th and 21st century artworks. It's been grown in a number of different ways through donations, through purchases, through the public art programme and competitions. So that's sort of resulted in a very diverse collection of artworks. Although really for the 20th century a lot of that was paintings, um, but it's starting to diversify a lot more. All of the artists who are represented in the county collection have a strong connection to the county itself. Always in exhibition, I think it's really important to have very like clear 
precise on how it slices, how it's viewed. This whole project began really with a conversation with colleagues in the Arts Office about the county collection and for me trying to understand more about how it's grown and evolved. And as part of that, we talked about having sort of different voices involved in a wider perspective and looking at how we chose the artworks and very much wanted to have young people's voices considered in that. Um, it's part of the whole ethos of the grain store, uh, the DLR's Youth Arts Facility, about empowering young people to make their own choices and, and to look at art. Um, now as rather as, as being artists of the future. I thought it was really nice that Ashley said earlier about being brave. At some point you have to make a decision. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Just go for go it. Go for it, and yeah. Be bold yeah. And, and think about, you know, we thought about it from lots of time, but this is what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We chose uh, Mary Fitzgerald and Christopher Mahan for this. Mm -hmm. um, we both and the group agreed that they had a really interesting relationship with their material and with the work that they were making, as well as with Don Leary. It was nice to give them an opportunity to join the collection and give them their work the opportunity to be, be shown around to the public. Yeah. <laughs>